Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you simple and creative ways to display company logos in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started with the tutorial, the first thing we need to do is to prepare the logos. So what I do is I go into Photoshop. So I'm going to click here, create new. And you want to determine the size of the rectangle where your logo is going to be. So the best size that seems to work very well is 226 by 100. So I'm going to click here on create. Okay, so this is where our logo is going to be. So just make sure that all the logos that you add all fit into this rectangle. So this will make sure that everything looks pretty much the same size. Although I know sometimes it can be difficult when you're working with uh, quite a lot of logos, uh, which have different shapes. But just try and make sure that it fits into this rectangle. All right, so uh, let's say my logo here is, in fact, I have a few logos downloaded onto my computer here. So I'm just gonna go into my downloads folder and I'm gonna drag the first one onto my canvas. So there we go. So that's my first logo. So right now you can't really see this because it's on a transparent background and ideally, this is how you want to have your logos because if you have them on a white background or a dark background, the color has to match with your website. So having these in a transparent background is the best way to do this. So once you've added all your logos, the next thing you want to do is to export it as a PNG. So you come over here to file, export, export as PNG. So this will ensure that um, it won't have a background when you export it. So this is where you just decide where you want to save this. So I'm just going to say save to my downloads folder and pretty much that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do next now is to go into Divi and show you how to bring all these logos into your actual website. So first of all, let's start by creating a page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. I'm just going to call this display company logos. Click on use Divi builder. And then we're going to go straight to the visual builder. Right, so I'm going to build this from scratch and I'm going to close this for now. So I'm going to show you a quick way to have our logos added into our website. So first of all, I have to locate the folder that has all my logos. So as you can see here, all my logos are in my downloads folder. So all you have to do is to select all of them and then drag them onto this area here. So as soon as you let go, they're all going to be imported onto our website and as you can see here this is now open a gallery module so all we have to do now is to customize our settings here so let's say you want to have eight images so what you want to do here is to just say eight and then you can also add more logos here so i have some in my media library so all i have to do is to locate those logos and select them okay so now that i'm happy with that i'm going to click on select so all my logos now are updated and you can also delete these over here like that. Right, so as you can see, they all have captions. So the next thing you want to do is to remove the captions. So I'm going to come over here to elements and then I'm going to say no to show title and caption and also no to pagination. Now by default, our gallery module will add a gradient overlay. So what you could do is you could come over here to design click on overlay and you can actually change this overlay to whatever color that you want. So to do that, all you have to do is to choose this icon color, this icon picker, and then you can select your color here. So now when I mouse over this area, as you can see that my icon has changed and I can also add a hover overlay color. So over here as well, as you can see here, we have this um, transparent uh, white color. We can always go in and also make changes to that. But in this example here, I'm going to leave it as it is. The next thing I'm going to do is to add a border around my logos. So I'm going to come over here to image. And then I'm going to add my border width, which is going to be one pixel. Next, I'm going to add a color. So you don't want to make this color really too dark. So I'm going to add a very light gray here. So I'm going to paste my value like that. So you can see here, it's very subtle. So what you could also do is to add a shadow. So I'm going to come over here to my image box shadow. I'm going to choose my shadow here. And now you can see we have a really cool style. You can even go further here and adjust the blur strength. 
by just uh, dragging these sliders here. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So pretty much this is our final design. So let's go ahead and save this. Right, so let's try another one. So what I'm going to do here is to click this plus button and create a new row. So this time we're going to go with one quarter, three quarters. So I'm going to choose this layout. And in our first column here, I'm going to add a text module. I'm going to select it. And we're just going to add a bit of text in that area there. So in most cases, I'm sure you've seen this on websites and it's called as featured on or as featured in. So I'm just going to add this text over here. Just replace our dummy text. And I'm just going to add as featured in. And uh, next thing we're going to do here is to add a custom font. So I'm going to click here on design text. And I'm going to choose my font. And the font I'm going to use here is called Monsterat. And select it. Ideally, for this to really look nice, it needs to be bold. So let's go ahead and make it bold here. Like that. Right, so the size, right now it's a bit too small. Let's set it here to 26. And then finally on the text orientation, we're going to center this. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose center. So now let's go ahead and save. Next, we're going to come over here and add another text module. So I'm going to search for my module here and then click on text. So we get rid of all the text and then next we want to click on add media. So I'm going to click here on add media, create a gallery, so now I'm going to go ahead and choose all the image, all the logos that I need to go into my gallery. So I'm going to go ahead now and select them. And I'm going to go with eight, as I did before. But in your case, there are situations where you may want to use maybe four. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is to click on create a new gallery. And then over here to the top, this is very important. Just make sure that uh, link to is set to none. And for the columns, let's set these columns to eight. And the size here needs to be full size. Because if you add it as a thumbnail the quality of that logo will be really low. Okay, so I'm going to click here on full size, insert gallery. Okay, so now our logos are now added and then we're going to save. Now there's a few, few more things that we need to do here. Let's go ahead and click on the uh, row settings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make this full width. So I'm going to click here on design sizing. We're going to make this row full width. So we're going to set this to yes. And then we're going to come over here to use custom gutter width. Now, what the gutter width does is it allows us to have spaces between the columns. So what I'm going to do here is to set my gutter width to 1. Equalize column height. I'm going to set this to yes. So the next thing we're going to do here is to come over here to advanced, custom CSS. And now we're going to add some CSS code to the main element. So now everything is going to be uh, aligned center. Next, so let's say you don't want to add this gray border around these um, logos. Again, we're going to use a custom CSS snippet to add to our page settings. So I'm going to come over here and just save this for now. Click here on the bottom on expand settings. And then I'm going to click here on this gear icon. And then over here on the top, I'm going to click on advanced custom CSS and I'm going to add my CSS code. So this CSS now will be applied to this particular page. So as you can see, as soon as I've entered my CSS code, all that has gone. So now it's just showing all my logos. Okay, so this is another way to do it. I know it's a bit long and it involves some CSS, but if you don't want to go through and do all of that, you can just add it manually using our gallery, gallery module. Okay, so now that I've added all that, you can see here they look really nice. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to just save this. Now... Let's say you want to add this in a different color. Let me show you how quickly you can do that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to duplicate this. Right. So with this one here, I'm going to click here on my row settings, background, and then I'm going to add a background color. So now you can see they're now black. So all you have to do now is to go in and change this uh, text. Or maybe if you're happy with the way it looks right now, that could be fine. But if you want to do that, you can just go into the text modules here and change the color. So as you can see here, the colors really stand out on a dark background. And that is because they are on a transparent background. So they don't have a background color on them. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to show you how to embed logo galleries into any module. So let's start by creating a brand new section. So I'm going to click over here on this plus button. This is going to be a regular section, so I'm going to select that. So we're going to go with six columns for this design, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to close this for now. 
So now we need to go into our row settings. So I'm gonna click here on my row settings. So let's add a custom width. So I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing, use custom width. So by default, it's set to pixels. So we need to change that to percentage and we're gonna set this to 90%. Next, we're gonna set our gutter width to one and we're gonna set equalize column heights. So the next thing we need to do is to add our padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing. So we're gonna add a custom padding on 4VW and that's the same value on the bottom. So I'm just gonna click on this chain icon so that the value is added both to the top and the bottom. Next, we're gonna hit save settings. So now we're gonna start adding all our logos. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and we're gonna add them as images. So I'm gonna search for my image module here. Right, so I can just click anywhere here and start adding all my logos. Okay, so you wanna do the same. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy and paste this module instead of me selecting it every single time. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it across and then just go back in and change the images. If you're wondering how I'm doing the copy and pasting, I'm just hitting the, um, the shortcuts. Command C to copy and Command V to paste. That's if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's Control C to copy and Control V to paste. So all you have to do now is to go in and just change these logos. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into each and every one of these and just change them. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on the gear icon change this to inner, upload an image, and then you want to continue doing that until they have all changed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then what I'm gonna do next is to add even more logos be below these. So I'm just gonna duplicate here like that. And then I'm gonna do it two more times. Okay, so I've added different logos here. So the next thing we need to do now is to add some CSS code. So I'm gonna Go to my row settings. So you wanna click on advanced, custom CSS, and our CSS code here is going to align everything. So I'm gonna paste it here. And now you can see we have our logos laid out in this unique way, which is really cool. So let's say you want to change the way these logos are laid out. Again, you can come over here to your CSS code and this time we're gonna use flex end, and this now is the reverse of what we had before. So now they're all aligned to the bottom line here. That looks really cool. So the next thing we're gonna do now is to just stylize this. So, so now we can customize our section. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then what I'm gonna do here is to click here on this gear icon on my section settings. First of all, I'm gonna start by adding a background. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and paste my background color here. Next, we're gonna choose a section divider. So I'm gonna click here on design, dividers, and this divider needs to be a top divider. So let's, let's go ahead and choose the style. So the style I'm going to go with here is, let's have a look. As you can see, we've got quite a lot to choose from. So I'm gonna choose my divider style. And then over here, we're gonna flip it. So I'm gonna click here to flip the divider. So now let's add our divider color. So I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool and my color here is gonna be an RGBA value. So I'm just gonna drag the slider down a little bit so I can get these brackets. And now I can paste my color within the brackets like that. Next, we're gonna add our divider height. So we're gonna set this to 13 VW. And then finally, we're gonna come over here to our custom padding. So I'm gonna click here on spacing and we are going to add a custom padding of zero, both to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna first add my value here and apply it to the bottom as well. So the next thing we need to do is to add a heading. So what we're gonna do is we are going to save this for now and we are going to create a brand new section. So this is the section that's gonna have our heading and we're going to apply this on top of what we've just created. So first of all, I'm gonna go in and add my background color. So I'm gonna come over here, click here on my gear icon, click on background, click this plus button and I'm gonna add my background color. And by the way, if you wanna copy and follow step-by-step step, everything that I'm doing, all my settings, all the colors and all the CSS I'm using, I would leave a link to the post in the show notes below so you can go ahead and follow this step-by-step. Step. So what we're gonna do here is we're also going to add a bottom divider style. So I'm gonna click here on design, dividers, 
And this time I'm gonna choose bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the style. I'm gonna select it. Next, I'm gonna add my divider color. So I'm gonna click here on the eyedropper tool. And again, this is gonna be an RGBA value. So I'm just gonna drag it down here and paste my values between the brackets. We're also going to give this a divider height of 13 VW. And as we did before, we're gonna give this custom padding of zero both to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna activate my chain here, and then I'm gonna save. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is just to drag this to the top, just above our section that has all our logos. So now it's time to add our text, our heading text. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, single column. And in that column, we're gonna add a text module. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. And I'm just gonna add a title in here. And we're gonna set this to heading two. So make sure you select it all. Click here on this little drop down and choose heading two. So now that we have our heading, let's go ahead and customize this. So I'm gonna come over here to design, heading text. We're gonna come over here to heading two. So let's change our font. So I'm gonna come over here and choose Monster Rat. I'm gonna make this bold. We're gonna set our size to 32. So as you can see on this white, on this background here, it's quite dark, so we can't really read the text. So we're gonna come over here and set this to white. And then we're also going to align this to the center. Right, so next we're gonna come over here to spacing and custom margin bottom. We're gonna set this to zero as well. Finally, to give this a, an illusion of a triangle, we need to add another image module, but this time it's gonna be just below our as featured text. So I'm gonna come over here and save this, add a new module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. It's gonna be an image module. I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna choose a logo to go with this. So I'm gonna go with this one here, upload an image. So next we're gonna center it like that. And then I'm gonna come over here to spacing and we're gonna set our negative margin. So we're gonna come over here to margin bottom and set this to minus 75. So you can see now this has been shifted upwards. So pretty much this is our final result. So as you can see, we've created a custom logo layout on our Divi website. So I'm gonna go ahead now and save this and save the page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.